So we've been introduced to the data model and the C active record object. And in this session, we'll see how we use these objects in real life and then modify our first view. When we generated our application in section 2.5, we saw the photo index view and it displayed a list of photos like this. And in this session, we'll be changing the photo list to look like this. So let's start by looking at the photo controller and we'll navigate to the index action method. Here we'll see that a C active data provider object is used to read all the records from the database. The C active data provider object provides data in terms of active record objects. The array of objects is then passed to a view called index. And if we open the views album index.php, we can see that this uses a list view to display the contents of the active data provider. And the list view widget takes its layout from another view, and in this case, it uses the underscore view. The underscore view view is a very simple form that displays a label and then the field contents for each attribute. So let's change this to display the image with the caption overlaid a bit like this. So we can remove all this label and field coding here and replace it with some divs. We're going to use the chtml component, which provides a collection of helper methods to generate various HTML tags. The first we're going to use is the link method, which takes up to three parameters. The text or image that we're going to wrap the link around, the URL of the link, and the third parameter is an array of HTML options. And here we're using the rel and title properties. We're then going to replace the link text with another chtml method to generate an image tag. The image method creates an image and takes similar parameters, the image, the alt tag, and the html options, and in this case, none. So let's have a look. Now that doesn't look anything like the picture on the box. That's because I cheated a bit. I've already created some CSS which we need our project to use. You should already have downloaded the code for this project from the PAC website and copied the www directory over the top of your www directory. And this will give you a new theme and we need to tell ye to use this new theme. So we need to change the ye config file, which you'll find in protected config main.php and include the line theme equals photogal, which is the name I've given to this theme. Now let's try that again. That's a bit better. Lastly, we won't be needing this side menu here, so we'll remove this by changing the layout for this view. In the controller index action, we set the layout variable to the layout that we want to use. Now let's go back and try that again. That's a bit better. Now we'll be looking at themes and layouts in more detail in section 6.1 and 6.2. So we've seen the C active data provider, which read all the photo records in the database and passed these in an array of objects to our view. And then we updated our view using the chtml object to create some HTML elements. In our next session, we're going to include a jcolorbox plugin and also some JavaScript.